Hello everyone. This time I'm going to make a simple map using QGIS. But before we start, make sure you already have the application installed and have a base map ready. Now, let's open the application. Wait a moment and the interface will look like this. First, click new project on this icon and the screen will change click open data source manager then click on vector look at the source section click the three dots on the right and find the best map you downloaded earlier choose the file in shp format open we can skip this part and click add twice close here a map of village or subdistricts across indonesia will appear but we won't map all of them we only want to map the administrative areas of regencies or cities in the layers panel first deactivate the bottom layer then on the active layer right click and select filter to find the regency or city you want a dialog box like this will appear find we are the mkk in the field section double click it until the text appears in the provider specific filter expression then click equals click all and choose the regency you want here i want to map smarang regency but you are free to choose any area you like double click until it appears in the provider basic filter expression section now we have the map of Semarang Regency to make it larger click zoom to layer the map looks better now next let's display in the districts right click on the active layer select properties then click symbology change it to categorize set the value to WADMKC then click classify remove this part now the map areas have changed colors according to its district and we are going to display in the village names click on the active layer right click select properties click labels and choose single labels leave the rest as it is then reduce the font size to around 5 click apply then ok now the village names have appeared activate the layer below right click and select properties then go to symbology change the color to a uh, natural ones here i am using white apply and ok now we just need to create the layout to do this click new print layout and this window will appear give it any name you like in this section you can choose the paper orientation either portrait or landscape let's use the landscape display in the map here using the add map icon then drag and drop leave some space for the legend once it feels right release it and the map will appear this map is too small so let's change the scale in the item properties to about 225,000 once it looks right add a frame and make the border a bit thicker create a space for the legend using add shape choose rectangle then drag and drop it here create the map 
subtitled by clicking add label place it here and type the title peta administrasi kabupaten semarang it doesn't look neat yet so let's increase the font size in appearance click font make it bold enlarge the font to around 13 adjust the text alignment set horizontal alignment to center and vertical alignment to middle move it up Create the orientation by clicking add north row, place it here, and just choose the symbol you like, adjust it to make it look good. Next, let's add the map scale here, click add scale bar, place it here. And then go to item properties in the style section select numeric look the scale has changed to a numeric scale just it click display then set the alignment to center and reduce the font size to 8 move it more toward the center this is the numeric scale now let's also create a graphic scale do it the same way by clicking add scale bar then just adjust it as needed select the double box style remove the label for the unit reduce the height a little and move it to the center Click display, find font, and make it smaller so it fits. Once the scale is done, let's add the logo of Kabupaten Semarang to do this search on google for lambang kabupaten semarang click one of the results and save it Go back to QKeys, then click Add Picture and place it here. In Item Properties, choose Raster Image, click this section, find the logo you downloaded, then click Open. move it a bit to the center to make it look better once it's ready click add legend and place it here leave it for now then adjust it in item properties go to legend items and uncheck auto update then remove this part double click and rename it to legenda since it's still too big let's resize it click font and text formatting then under item labels change the font size to 6 the problem is not solved yet because it's still too long so we will adjust it again click the legend count how many districts there are here we have 19 then divide them into 2 10 
on the left side and 9 on the right side. First, delete 11 to 19 districts in legend items. Leave this part as it is. Then click add legend again and place it here like before. Double click on this part and click the space on your keyboard. The difference is now delete 1 to 10 districts. Then adjust it to make it precise. Now the legend is all set. Also, add this text at the bottom. Peta ini dibuat sebagai salah satu tugas dari Mapel Geografi kelas 10 semester ganjil. Adjust its position and font size accordingly. Don't forget to write who created the map for example like this. Also, add your formal photo and the school logo using the same way as when adding the logo Kabupaten Semarang. Include the sources right and roundly like this. Add astronomical lines to the map. This is mandatory. Click the map. Go to item properties. Find grid then click add new grid click grid 1 select modify grid leave grid type as is change crs to project crs leave the interval as is set x to nil point 0.2 and y to nil point 0.2 now the latitude and longitude lines appear change the line color to blue then scroll down and click draw coordinates change the format to degrees minute seconds and adjust the numbers so they are not too large
set left horizontal to vertical descending and do the same way for the right side finally finally make the font size smaller the map looks good now finally add an insert map first lock the layers on the existing map then minimize the layout here add open street map and place it on the top layer go back to the layout and click add map again then place it here since Marang is in central java make the insert map show the island of java adjust the insert map scale and add the frame click overviews then add new select the map frame and choose map 1 it will show the location of Kabupaten Semarang the map is now complete export it to PDF and happy trying it out